do you want to convert your Lotus Notes database into Exchange Server Mailbox? In this video, let's see how to perform bulk conversion of Lotus Notes database to Exchange Server Mailbox. We brings the ultimate solution for you. SysTools Mail Migration Wizard Software Now let's check out the prerequisites. Lotus Notes client must be installed and configured properly on your system. And it should be offline and not connected with Domino server. Microsoft Outlook must be installed and should be configured properly for any valid or dummy profile or account. Also the administrator account must be impersonated for Exchange version 2007, 10, 13 and 16 versions. And in case of Exchange 2000 and 2003 versions, the mailboxes should have complete administrative rights. Watch till the end of this video to find impersonation video link. Now let's install and run the software. In the home screen, you will find advanced options. Select NSF files checkbox is selected by default. Then you have to enter the Lotus Notes client password. Check the box option and enter the password in the next field. Here you have to enter Lotus Notes client password only and not Domino server password. Now click add files button to add NSF files. You can select single or multiple NSF files to export. After making the selections, click open. You can see the chosen files will appear. Now if you want to remove the selected files, click remove button. The files will be removed. You saw how to add NSF files. Now let's see how to add NSF file folder. Click the add folder button. Now select the folder containing NSF files and click OK, then click Next to proceed. Now you can see, the Export Options window appears with Advanced File Export Options. Below you can see the Maintain Folder Hierarchy option, selected by default. Let's select the Exchange option in our example, to export files to Exchange Mailbox, in the Live Exchange options. Exchange 2003 version is selected by default. You can choose this option to migrate files into Exchange 2003 server. You have to make sure that the tool is running with admin privileges. You can also select the next option to migrate files into Exchange 2007 or above versions. Now let's select this option in our example. After making the selections, click OK to proceed. In the next window, you will find Advanced Options. Now from the Admin Credentials section, enter the Admin SMTP address in the first field. Then enter the Admin Password in the field option below. Now select the desired Exchange Server version from the drop-down. Then in the IP Address section, enter the Server IP in the first field and in the Option field below, enter the Active Directory IP. You can check the same as above box, if the Active Directory IP is as same as the Server IP. After entering the credentials in the respective fields, click Submit button. Then the software will authenticate the credentials. After successful authentication, you can see the files will appear. Now you have to enter the Exchange Mailbox name in the Option field. After entering the correct Exchange Mailbox name, you can see the green check in the Authentication field. Now, in the respective fields below, enter the Exchange Mailbox names. In the Select Categories option below, you can see multiple advanced options to filter files. In the Mails option, all mails checkbox is selected by default. Select the apply filter option if you want to filter mails according to certain date range. Now click set button. Then a small window appears 
select the Include Date checkbox option. And then you can select the date range from the drop down to filter mails date wise. After making the selections, click Apply button to proceed further. Next option is the Contacts option. You can choose the Exclude Duplicate Contacts option to exclude duplicate contacts. After that, click Set button. Now a window appears with further options. You can select from the following properties like full name, email address, etc. These options will be considered to check duplicate contacts. After making the selections, click Apply to proceed. Now you can select and apply filter options to calendars, tasks and journals in the same way as shown in the Mails option. Now let's check out the Advance options. Select the Apply Advance Options checkbox. Then click on Settings. You can see Advanced Settings window appears. Here you can see the Options tab first. These options may slow down the overall migration performance. Now let's check out the options. The first option is HTML formatting option. Selecting this option allows you to maintain HTML formatting of mails. Then comes the Internet header option. This option allows you to maintain header information of mails. Then there is the Remove Encryption option, which allows you to remove encryption of mails. Selecting the All Documents option allows all document view mail items to be migrated. And the doc link option. This allows you to maintain the doc links of mails. Now let's check out the email address translation tab option. Below, you can see the set SMTP manually option. Select the set SMTP checkbox option. Then from the drop down, you can select the desired SMTP format options. And in the field option below, enter the domain name. Then there is also tab option to add CSV file. This option will be active only if SMTP option is unchecked. You can click on the sample CSV link to see the format of adding credentials in a CSV file. Now let's check out the custom folder mapping option. Select the map folder checkbox option. Then from the select folder drop down menu, you can choose desired folder for mapping. After that, enter the customized folder name in the field option below. Here you can provide a customized name for the system folder. Probably in a different language. For example, inbox in German is called Postingang. In this manner, system folders can be mapped. Then click Save button. After making the selections, click Apply button. Now you can start exporting the files. Click on Export button to start exporting the files. You can see the file exporting process. After the exporting process completes, a small window appears with success message. Then click OK. Then you can click on the Save Report button to save the export report in CSV format. Click Save button after choosing a desired location. And click OK. Then a window appears. Click Yes to export more NSF files. Or you can click No to exit the application. Now let's check out the output files. Open Outlook web app on your system. Then enter the user credentials in the respective fields and click Sign in. Now you can see the exported files in hierarchical order. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Log on to the given product page for more details and purchasing the product. For any query, mail us to support at systilsgroup.com. Thank you watching.